Hello YouTube land! Welcome back to another video. I am Au Natural Mama and welcome back if you are part of my family. Before I get into this video, please, if you could ever so kindly subscribe to my channel, like my video, and I'm going to tell you that all my links are down below if you want to check out my OnlyFans. If you'd like to start at OnlyFans, I do have my referral link down below. If you want to check out my Instagram, I think that's all because you're already on YouTube, so you can't check out my YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, all of my stuff is down below and I'm wearing the same thing as my How to Gain Karma Points on Reddit video. Yeah, so YouTube filming like all day. So this is what you get, you guys get one hot mess right here. This is what it is. If you have OnlyFans and you kind of know the platform, you know that you can message your fans on OnlyFans just like you could Instagram, Facebook Messenger, those kind of platforms that you can direct message people. And if you're new, yes, you can direct message your fans on OnlyFans. There's two ways of doing the messaging. You can just have it for free, where it's just like open to anybody, just like social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram, where you can just message people, or you can set your messages to being uh, tip locked, essentially. So the only way they can message you is if they send a tip amount to you, then it will unlock it and you'll be able to send, I think, just one message. Not 100% sure. I have never done that before. I have seen it lots, especially for like celebrities and a lot more kind of famous OnlyFans creators. So I'm not sure how exactly that side of it works, but you can send it as a tip to message you, maybe if you don't have a lot of time on your hands or you just wanna do that. But like I said, I've always had my messages opened to literally anybody. Now, when you make your OnlyFans, you have an option to like set up your profile and to set up your welcome message. So essentially, that means that for every person that subscribes, they get an automated message sent to them that says, welcome to my page. And you can set that up or you can have it turned off. But if you set it up, then you can write a little spiel, a little paragraph. You can add a video, you can add a photo, you can have something locked for purchase. Like there's a bunch of ways you could do that. And essentially mine just says like, welcome to my page. I am super happy that you joined me here and you came over and like you've put a smile on my face and I hope that I do the same for you. Message me if you want to get to know me. I love chatting. Uh, message me if you have any questions, if you want custom content, like all that kind of stuff. I kind of put into one little message and then it automatically gets sent to them when they come over. Now, some people choose not to do that because they want to message the fan when they're online, like more kind of personal that way. I chose to do it the automated way because I don't get notifications when people subscribe to me anymore and a lot of time I get it when I'm busy or like during the night. So I just set it to being automated but it's still personal because I truly mean what I'm saying in my message and it's nothing like I'm not selling anything in my message. I'm just like actually saying like thank you for coming and like come get to know me and love getting to know people and stuff. So. That is how I do my messages. So when I first was going to join OnlyFans a year, over a year and a half ago, and doing my research and listening to people on YouTube and like hearing that messages were really important, I was kind of turned off. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't want to get to know people. I didn't want to like, do sexting and dirty talk and like send messages and photos and all stuff like I was like I don't want to do that like that's just too personal like I just don't feel comfortable doing that as I wanted to make an OnlyFans more I was like okay whatever I'll do it like I don't know how it's gonna go but I will do it 
uh, I learned more about messaging and how important it is and it's not just strictly the like the sexy stuff all the time and then I kind of realized that my fans are people which I knew they were already obviously but <laughs> my fans are just like regular people normal people who want somebody to talk to hang out with have a good time you know get it on every once in a while but like really just like get to know you and how you do things and who you are as a person and once I kind of learned that I was like okay like I really do love doing the messages and of course I message everybody on there and out of messaging like that is a big part of OnlyFans the first big part of OnlyFans of course is promoting yourself because you have to promote yourself to get fans the second part is having content on your page because if you don't have content on your page then how are you going to promote yourself because <laughs> there's nothing to show <laughs> on there and then the third part is number three is messaging people and talking to people and showing them that you're a real person and you can also use messages for selling content as well so that is like the, the three things that you have to do on OnlyFans. So messaging is really important. Now, a lot of people, most people on OnlyFans, besides me, because I'm just different, use the messaging for pay-per-view content. So you send out mass messages to every person on your list and you just make like one message yourself and you can have like a locked item on there or something that's not locked and it's just a photo for free and you have like a little paragraph in there or something and you can send it to every single person on your list and if they choose to purchase what you have locked then you make a sale and if you if they choose to respond to whatever then you've they created you know you've made communication with people also for messaging that's how you do send out like personal customized content or something that somebody has tipped you for you send them that content on there so you do kind of have to have your messages open in the grand schemes of things because unless your page is a no pay-per-view page which my one page is then they see everything on your page and they don't have to buy anything extra unless they want custom content. But even on that page, I have my messages wide open. When I message people, I tend to let them come to me. I don't really, like I'm not really a pushy person. Maybe if I was more pushy, I would do better in on OnlyFans. Like I would make a lot more money, it would be the top percentage. But I just really like, you know, I want really, really like people to be comfortable on there. And I'm not straight like sell, sell, sell. I'm more like get to know me, enjoy the time, like grateful that people are there. And with that, the money comes. And I just let them know, like I give them my automated message and then they choose to respond or they choose to not respond and later down the road maybe there's people i've had that have been on there for like four or five months and they finally message me because they're comfortable now a lot of people are really shy when they make an only fans and they just like just they're just not comfortable messaging you and that's okay because every single person is different so i just let people you know message me when they want and then i am there for them as soon as they message and I truly be my goofy, silly self on messages and my real self. Like, I just be who I am as if I was texting people or Facebook messaging people that I know. Like, I don't hide anything. I don't try to be a certain way on there. Like, I don't have a different identity, I guess, on there. Um, for my page, there's lots of pages where you people are like different kind of people on there and that's just your niche and that's just what you've created but for me i'm just like your own natural mama like what you get is what you see <laughs> i don't go into too much like personal details in messaging but like people know that i have a daughter and people know that i'm married and people know i have a dog and people know i live on a farm and i live in an rv and i have like a different lifestyle 
and I will tell people if my daughter is sick or I'll tell people stuff that's kind of happened in the day that's not super like specific but I'll tell people what's happened in the day yeah I went swimming today and I like took my dog for a walk and I went to grocery shopping and now I'm watching Rio on my laptop with my daughter and I'm eating junk food and stuff like I do that type of stuff I be as real as I can with them but also respecting privacy as well because I try to keep like my family and stuff kind of out of this for now so I just try to be as real as I can and then when certain situations come up in messaging where it's rated R, then obviously I don't talk about that stuff, <laughs> right? I just do what's the theme of the message. So when kind of explicit things pop up, then I go with the flow, right? And it also depends on my situation at home if I'm able to commit to certain things since I'm a stay-at-home mom and I don't have a lot of privacy and space and I have to do things kind of like when I have time. I can't just like jump up and do it. So I have to make sure that I'm able to do certain things. You don't really get a lot of like explicit messages. And honestly, I don't offer like a sexting price. Like I don't offer, I guess a sexting package would be more so what it is. Uh, most of my fans know that I'm not really like on the messenger for long periods of time so it's kind of hard for me to like continue a session of doing certain stuff that's like explicit on there so I don't offer that I just do it when I'm on there and it's kind of broken up but there is some nights where I'm like unable to to commit to some stuff and I will charge like accordingly to if they want photos or videos but I just tend to have like an authentic fun time with whoever is messaging me. I always say this, but OnlyFans is like soup is super great because you can do it however you want to and you can do it super explicitly. You can do it super cute and covered and you can do it just like mom next door. You can do it a mixture of everything. You can be have a different identity on OnlyFans. You can, you know, you could have like your mistress vibe. You can have be a dominatrix. Like you can be all these things. Like who dresses up in costumes and stuff. Like you can just do things however you want. And if you're not comfortable in doing certain things, then you can say that you aren't. And you can say no to certain things on there if you don't want to. But you can also say no and then maybe one day you're like, you know what, I should really try that. And you try it and maybe you like doing that or you find that's a good tactic for hitting your goals that you have created. So you can always change everything that you do on OnlyFans. And you can do it however you want and people like the personality and people like the connection and the realness and the rawness and the authenticity. So just really being yourself. Lately, I've been using my no pay-per-view OnlyFans page a lot more than my first page that I made that is a pay-per-view page. So what that means is I have one page for $7 that I've had since 2021. It's my baby. But on there you pay for monthly subscription and then you also pay to see explicit content on there. And I grew another page last year in 2022 that's a no pay-per-view page and it's just one monthly subscription price and you get everything that I show on my page unless you want like something custom or if you want like a rating then that's extra but everything is on there on that page I don't have to be as tentative on my messages because I don't have to send out like explicit messages on there because everybody just sees everything on my page and what they choose to view is already on there so they don't have to like message me in the messages to ask for things or I don't have to put in a little bit extra work in messages that way. There's just people that still message me all the time on there which I absolutely love but because I went that route I also find it's a lot more easier on me because I can just like post whatever I feel like when I feel like it just on my page and whoever wants to view it 
just views it and they can message me saying that they enjoyed it or they liked it or they want to see more of that content or less of that content or whatever ideas that they have you know going on through their head so I think that's kind of why I, for me it's a little bit I don't really use like messages that much and I have had people ask me how do you like people who are just starting even how how do you accommodate to everybody who's messaging you and you have a kid and you stay at home and you don't have a lot of privacy like how are you able to message these people and do all this like explicit stuff and not take up too much of your time and like leave these people hanging and honestly <laughs> honestly maybe like if i have a hundred fans maybe like five message me honestly like there's not a lot of people who do message and i mean lots of them more than that do message me but only like five have full out conversations with me and have continued that for months so you don't have to worry about having the pressure of people like constantly messaging you messaging you messaging you because through my experience i don't have a lot of people who are messaging me that much that you would think right like a lot of them are shy or they just want to be quiet and just enjoy you know in the shadows there's the people who are more forward and more like love to give you advice and love to give you feedback and know what they want and they'll talk to you and then you have to remember that people are working people have families kids they have hobbies they have trips are going on they have things that they're doing throughout their day so people aren't really on OnlyFans that much. It would make it easier like for people who are struggling with messages is just to remember that it, it is a really big part of OnlyFans but people understand if you're busy or you can understand if they're busy and people you know will wait like they'll wait for you they know that you have lives and if they're <laughs> great human beings they will totally understand that and those are the people that you want on your page the ones who understand that you're human and you have a life and they respect that and those are the great like the greatest fans that you can ever have it's gonna be all for today for my like messaging for only fans let me know if i missed anything comment below if you have questions of course i will answer best that i can to all your comments and questions don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and once again all my links are down below if you want to check me out down there and i hope you guys have a super duper day okay bye